to record an activity with your Polar Critics Pro, press the lower left button to reach the menu. And the first option is start training. So select it with the right button just right here. And from here, you will be able to navigate to the activity you want to do. Uh, the activity that are available here might change from a watch to another. Probably that the one you see are the one that are by default, but you can uh, add and remove some activity from the Polar app. If you want to know how to do it and also how to change the data fields you will uh, have into your activity that we will see in a few seconds, you can see the video just right here. And then, so you select an activity. So let's say I want to run. And uh, if you want to start the activity, well, basically you just start it. You press the right button just right here and the recording is started. From here, you will have access to your data field uh, that you can modify and see into the other video. You can navigate from a page to another with the up and down button. As you can see, I can come back to the first page, go to the second one, come back to the first one and navigate to all the other screen with the data that you can choose to have on every screen. Uh, this page is the music page. Uh, from here, you can press the upper left button to control the music that you will control with those two buttons. Now you can come back and press the hamburger menu button just right here. This will show up that one that will make you be able to play the music or skip the music uh, if your phone is connected with a uh, playing music uh, app turn on. Um, that that is for the music and that's pretty much that's it. Uh, if you want to create a lap, you will want to press that right button just right here. So we now have our first lap. And if you want to do another lap, well, you just press it again and it does a second lap. If you want to pause your activity or stop the activity, you will want to press the uh, lower left button just right here. And it's now on pause. From here, you have access to few options. If we press the upper left button, you see the gear just right here. It will bring us to that menu. From here, you can edit the uh, power saving mode. Uh, if we come inside, you can change the GPS recording rate. So actually record it every second, but you can also have at every minute or two minutes or even off. Uh, <clears throat> if you are inside and don't need the GPS, of course, uh, set it to off, you will save a lot of battery. And if you really, really need it, uh, you can set it to every minute, but I highly suggest every second as every you do move a lot in one minute. So uh, you will have a less precise uh, track or distance or you will everything will be less precise if you set it to one minute. So I highly suggest to keep it at one second uh, unless you really, really need to save the battery. Uh, you can also enable or disable your wrist hearth rate. That's the little guy at the back. Um, yeah, you just can set it to on or off. Uh, then you got the screensaver. The screensaver will basically, well, let's give it a try. Uh, if I set it to uh, on and go back here and restart the activity, you can restart the activity by pressing the right button. And well, you will see the data fields and because everything is moving, it does consume a little bit more battery. So what it does is just display the time. And yes, it does consume a little bit less battery. But at what point? I think it's not that useful. <laughs> so let's pause that activity. But yes, when you press a button, it will come back. You can press any button. It does come back. But if you want to use that function, well, you will need to double press it. Otherwise, it just unlock the screen. So now I will repress it. It goes on pause. And let's modify some other things. Uh, we've got the backlight. So you can set it to a no. Uh, it will follow the rules of the watch if you... Uh, press the button or do the face up uh, movement to uh, make the backlight turn on. Uh, if it's on no, it will be that way. If you set it to yes, it will just be 
uh, on all the time. Above the backlight settings, you can see that video for more information. So let's put it back to uh, no. Uh, what else do we have? Share hearth rate with other devices. That is, uh, if you are running uh, on, on a smart something or a cycling on a tax or a device like that, you can share your hearth rate, this one of the watch, to another device. So, yep, that might be handy. You can also set interval, countdown. Uh, if you got Roots, uh, Roots needs to be created with Komoot. Uh, we will see more into that video just right here. Uh, but once you, your uh, Polar account is synced with your Komoot account, you will be able to come inside Root here and choose the route you want to uh, to do. So, so yeah, <laughs> there's no much to say about that. And you can also have the back to start. Uh, actually, it will be quite hard to do because I'm still inside. Uh, but uh, you have via beeline, so you'll be able to go in straight line. It will tell you, well, it is in that, that direction at this distance. And, well, go back to, to your starting point um, in straight line. And if you move, you will have that option available to uh, come back with the same route. Uh, basically will just help you to come back on your feet. So that's the option we have just right here. And at the end, let's come back right there. Uh, at the end, you can press and hold the lower left button because if you just press it, it just does nothing. So you need to press and hold to end the activity. Once the uh, session is done, you can save it by pressing on the right button or just delete it by pressing the lower left button. Actually, that's what I will do because I didn't do anything. Let's start another activity. Uh, there's something I want to see. Uh, so, yeah, that was the lower left button. And then you start training. And uh, you see, you have access to that gear with all the option even before the activity is started. Oops, I did come back. Uh -huh. And uh, before you begin, you have, you see, actually, there is the location, uh, the GPS lo location that the watch is looking for. Uh, I think it just find it. Yes, it did find it. So you don't need to wait for this. You can start the activity right away. And I did realize that when you move, it does get the GPS signal even faster. So don't wait for it. You will find it quite quickly. Uh, if you have uh, a scene, <laughs> if if you can see the sky, of course. Uh, if you are inside, that doesn't work very well. Oh, I almost forgot. There's an option that is very interesting on the watch. Uh, and if we come back here to start training and we go inside the setting and then go down to uh, race pace. That's a very great feature. So when you go inside here, you can set yourself a distance target. So let's say five kilometers. And then you set yourself a target time. So let's say half an hour. Again, same principle. You use the up and down to select the time. And then you move to the minute by using the, the select button and then to the seconds and you can do the same. And then finally you set it. So uh, it says that I need to uh, do six uh, minutes, uh, one kilometer every six minutes. And uh, you see that logo tell me that the, uh, the, the, the feature is actually on. So when I start the activity, that will be the same thing as before. We have all our page, but we have this one over those so uh, you see still the same page here but on the very top of that list we got this page so you see that's the that's me and i'm actually moving to the left because you see the white line here is my objective i can go beyond it or just be on it uh, or i can just take a look at the time here and it says that I'm actually 30 seconds behind my objective because, well, yep, I didn't move. Uh, you got your distance remaining at the bottom, but that's a very, very handy feature. If you want to uh, challenge yourself to uh, to do something, you will, you will know at what, uh, what distance or at what time you are of your objective. So yeah, I almost forget it, but now you know it. 
ますよ。This is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please smash the like button. If you are planning to buy this watch, you can see my link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you need help. If you want to see my other tutorial about this watch, you can see my playlist just right here. And you can also find me on my main channel just right there. Thank you for watching. Take care. <laughs> see ya.